What's up guys, welcome back to another video. If you aren't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I upload a new video. So today we're gonna do kind of a similar video, but kind of a different video in a way. Um, if you don't know, but now you know, I have a motorcycle now and I just wrapped it. So you'll see that color before and you'll see it now anyways. It's just a pink, show the pink. The pink you can't really you see, can't see it right now it's kind of bad but will i get better lighting of it um that's not the ending of it we just wanted to wrap it pink because the other color it was just white but the pink kind of pops more the pink's cute and i just had the wrap laying around but before i get into that i did get sponsored by Vama frog for my 240 which i don't know when you're gonna see that color so i'm not gonna a say couple it times. now um yeah they sponsored me Quite a lot. A few times, actually. A few times. But before that, I did buy the bike wrap from them. But they're, I, I, I like their material. Like, I see nothing wrong with it. So if you guys are interested in getting wrapped from Vinyl Frog, I'm pretty sure I have a discount code. I just have to ask them for it. I don't remember what it was. And I'll link that down below. Let me get somewhere here so you can go get some wrap if you're looking for wrap. Anyways, let me get into this video. So today I'm going to be doing a moto vlog. That's what they're called, right? Yeah, they're called moto vlogs. You guys know the moto vlogs you guys used to go on with her on her bike years ago. Yeah. But when did you start riding a bike? Riding a bike, yeah. This one's different. Like, I don't know. I've never really been, like, comfortable, comfortable on a bike. But, honestly, I only rode this thing, like, a few times. But I want to keep getting on it more because I do. I really do want to learn eventually how to stunt, like, for girls, for girls. And just get comfortable on it so i'm not gonna lie like i finally learned how to like not have to hold the handlebars and be able to sit up and stuff and like i want to learn how to like stand up without like my hands but like right now i can stand up and just hold the bars you know but i was too scared to try it um without my hands because like i didn't want to fall and bust my shit wearing goddamn shorts and a and like a, a crop top then i'm gonna scrape my skin and i'm a cry baby like i cry about everything like if juju changes her tone with me what i do cries <laughs> i cry as you guys can tell on my channel or if you haven't go check out all my other videos um trying to come out with back-to-back -back videos but like making them bangers and making them juicy and honestly i'm not going to show you my whole board because like i don't want people stealing my ideas because I'm not going to get into it, but don't eat people so many ideas. But anyways, these are all Juju's ideas, honestly. So last night, um, we got in bed. We got in bed and we got our well, I got home from work. We got in bed yeah. and then like we showered and jotted down like. Yeah, so all the videos you guys are going to see and the consistency you're going to be seeing is really because of Juju because she's been pushing me to do it and like gets on my ass about it because she's the only person in the world that wants to see me do good and wants to see me elevate and doesn't effing use me like yeah also guys i don't get nothing on. i do not get nothing and out of it honestly like i don't ask for anything i don't ask for her money i don't ask her to buy me anything even though she offers i just push her because like i know she disappeared for like two years and i know you guys will never know why she actually disappeared for two years but like she went through some real things that maybe a lot of people her age don't go through and she had to take a break from the internet but now that she's not going through anything anymore and she's finally in control of her own life she can finally hit you guys back up with bangers mm -hmm. back to back and, and, and she's really, more happy like you know and really the the person we really got to thank for these videos is juju i swear because i know my videos were a bit whack when i was posting because i was just posting and like well most of the time i mean i was trying but like she would tell me she'd be like you need to do this you need to do that you need to be like change this up and nobody's gonna want to watch that you need to make your videos longer so she would give me advice and like i don't know why i just want to listen but like a few weeks ago i was like you know what okay like i'm just gonna listen to everything you tell me that i should do and should suggest put the camera straight oh, sorry. suggest and then we'll go from there so she she's the one that's coming up with all these ideas also guys whatever you see her with in videos like these are outfits she only wears in videos when we leave the house like she is never dressed like this she she's like and i know like some people say she's disrespecting herself but she really is not she's just wearing like tops and tube tops and like mm -hmm. you know like but stuff like that but we don't leave the house like that when at i all. really do leave the house i swear to god like 
I put on my legs are covered. I'll maybe wear like a tank top, but it covers like everything. Yeah, her boobs or are I'll never out. Like a normal shirt that covers everything. So honestly, truthfully, all what I wear is really just for the videos because when I do go outside the house, I'm fully covered. Well, anyway. she used to be not covered. I used to be a hoochie outside, but now, but now she like self respects herself yeah. when she leaves the house. So anything she wears is really just attire dedicated to her videos. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so the point is we have jotted down, well, Juju jotted down all of it. We got 21 all video things, ideas. 21 and counting because I don't know, like she's just hella smart and brilliant. We knocked out two today. Like we woke up early and it, it's about to be 110 degrees. So I was like, we need to go outside, do these videos, do knock it. them out and she knocked them out. So doing a bike video and let's go. Or maybe we could get the camera. So I was finishing another video, so this will probably just be added into the new one I'm making because we're knocking out two videos in one day because it's like 110 degrees. Yeah. But well, this time I'm wearing a helmet. Maybe I'll take another picture. Hey, how are you? Good. She's making her YouTube video. We need to knock them out before it gets too hot. Where are you going? Okay. Be safe. See you later. Thank you. Guess what I learned how to do? 
I learned how to ride the bike with no hands and stay like this, and then go like this, and then go like this, and then I learned how to stand up. I stalled it. If you if you can. Guys, I'm not oh shit. I mean I've gone up the driveway sometimes, but like okay, come on. Or I can get off. I'll just put it like this for now. Yeah, just leave it right there so then you just come out the driveway. <sighs> okay guys, so I did the bike video and everything so you already saw that and it was hot like my thighs were sweating and every time I stopped you feel my sweat yeah her boobs literally are sweating, sweating. <laughs> when I stopped at any stop sign or when I had to bust a u-turn and stuff my thighs because I'm not flat-footed on the floor on the bike like it's a little too tall for me so I'll tippy toe a little bit so on um, one side, I'm like leaning a little more and I still have balance on the other one. So then when I'm trying to like do something, my thighs are slipping off the freaking seat because it's so hot and, and I'm, I get sweaty. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I really, I, I'm, I'm a person that sweat. And it, but it's too hot, like, it's like 113 out here today. Like, that's not it for me. Also guys, if you see her in the same shorts and the same shoes as that last video, it's because we did two videos in one day to knock them yeah, out. Yeah, because we need to give them back to back bangers. bangers. She's back from her ride. Juju's gonna ask a few questions before Maybe we, we can do that. it inside because yeah. it's so hot. We're gonna go inside. We can ask a few oh. questions before we end out this video. Okay, so. Because I know I answer some of you. I know most of the people who watch her videos, like it tells her like it's the people who are already on her channel, but it does tell her like there's a, not, there's a lot new, of new subscribers. New. There's so, like 80% new subscribers. So can you tell your new subscribers when you did start riding a bike? Um, honestly? I think I was like 15 when I learned how to ride one. And then I only, I think I only rode for a little bit, like probably like a couple months, I'm not gonna lie, not that long. And then I stopped riding completely. And then I got into like drifting and everything. So then I didn't care about bikes anymore because I don't know, like, to be honest, I was kind of a scaredy cat. <laughs> and like, I didn't want something that happened to me. And then, and then, yeah, so really I learned how to ride when I was 15, and to be honest, I'm 23 now, so I'm kind of grown, I'm getting grown out here, and I moved to California two years ago, and then I think once I started getting back into social media and stuff, because I stopped doing it for a minute, I mean, I still post it here Yeah, and we bought but, this bike a few months yeah, ago. Yeah, but I just wasn't consistent with it, like, there was just too much going on. But now that I am consistent with it, I decided to get a motorcycle and get back into like, I guess that like bike life because I always did want to learn how to stunt. Like I always, I just wanted to learn how to do it because it looks fun. Like we'll come across videos on Instagram, like on her Instagram and there'll be people doing like all these crazy ass tricks. Yeah, there's this one girl like, yeah, and I'm she's like, wild. I'm like, damn, like I want to learn how to do that. Like so fun. So. But I've been telling you for how long, right? That I wanted to learn how to stunt on a bike. Yeah, honestly, I wasn't. She wanted to buy a bike like over a year ago, and I think I, I said no to her because like I don't want anything to happen to her. And then I finally gave in like five months ago, and I was like, fine. And then she and bought I one five her, months I was ago. Like, duh! Like she cares about me, so she don't want nothing happening to me. So she was like, she wasn't necessarily like saying no, but she would be like, advise me, and be like, oh, I think I think you should do it. Like I think you should just like get like. I told like, her to just get back into and drifting. Drift and do that. I'm gonna do that though. And do that. So her saying like, no, I'm like, it's like being like cautious because she doesn't want nothing happening to me. That's what it is. And then I finally like told her and like kind of convinced her in a way. And I was like, you know what? Like I'm going to get one, but I'm not going to throw myself on the highway. And I only did that one time because I was mad. She was chasing me. I was mad. Yeah, I was chasing her because I'm psycho. I'm toxic. And I was mad. So I did get on the freeway because it was just like adrenaline. But other than that, I really just stay on like, the like outside like the neighborhood and like the side streets and stuff like that so i don't know maybe eventually one day i'll maybe i'll get on the freeway because the freeway like by our house isn't like that a lot of you that do come to her channel and notice that she doesn't have like so many videos mm -hmm. and like what she used to do 
I deleted it. It's because she came to California and started all over. So all her drift videos that she was doing years ago and like her drift Z that she built and uh, anything, everything she had. Anything that was on my channel prior I, and my Instagram, like I, I literally deleted everything on um, all my social media, everything got deleted and I restarted like I was going to a different state refresh restarted everything and i'm almost at like 200 posts on youtube already and they're just gonna keep going up so make sure you check out my other videos she's gonna be back to back bangers yeah. like she used to they weren't that much bangers like these oh videos. i don't know these videos i've never better. seen her videos like that these, i feel like these videos are better and juicier and fun i just knew her through instagram and she was talking to me through dms and then she and moved out here cheater. yeah she was yeah. yeah i guess anyways guys so just gonna take a quick little moment and thank everybody that did return to my channel even though I disappeared on everybody for so freaking long and you guys came back and still watch and support my videos but this time I'm gonna be staying and I'm gonna be consistent and I'm really gonna be putting out there not clickbait shit we're gonna put actually like juicy and like fun content like I was telling you earlier with our little whiteboard we got going on and I also just came out with some merch, TBH. So that's how that's how we know I'm taking this stuff serious. And it's so juicy can, merch too. Ju juicy merch, like I'm not playing. So you could check that out, at link in description. Down below. And whatever else I decide to put in that description. Thank you guys for watching and I hope I see you guys in the next video. Bye. Say bye. Bye.